All right, peace everybody. Today I'm gonna to show you how to attach the Firefly 1080p camera to the Tello. If you're familiar with the Tello 720 video, you know it's very bad. It's grainy, it drops frames, it turns itself off and on, it just sucks. Now you can record in 1080p and the original 720p at the same time, but the 1080p is far superior. So the Firefly actually does come with all these things in the kit that you could mount on the bottom of your towel. You could peel this, put that on the bottom, screw this in, add this, on and on, click up all your mounts, but it's just a whole bunch of extra weight that you just don't need. And plus, this is gonna be stuck on your towel forever. So using one single zap strap, much better. In order to allow easy access to all the controls and because the mount's designed this way, we're going to mount this to the tallow upside down. You can just use your editor or uh, player to flip it. First thing we do is slip the zap strap into the bottom of the mount. Make sure that the cameras are aligned, pointing the same way. Take one end of your zip strap, slip it between the two arms of the front propeller. Take the other end of the zip strap, slip it between the other two arms of the other propeller, and zip her up. Alright, so you don't want it too tight. And the other thing you want to make sure is you want these sensors to be clear. So, tighten it up. Make sure this is up. For now you want your zap strap tight enough to hold the camera but loose enough that you can slide stuff around and you can tighten it up when you get everything set in place. Center the knot, of course, once it's cut off, even if it's over to the side, your props will hit it. So make sure the knot is in the center before you cut it off. And once you have your camera in position where you want it, you can tighten your zap strap as tight as you want it. Cut off the excess. Okay, so the positioning of the camera itself is very important. If it's too far forward like it is right now, it'll just flip over, flip over. It will not fly. It'll just flip over, flip over. So what I do is I pull it back as far as I can against the arm towards the back as far as it possibly goes. And then, of course, you don't want the sensors covered up, so I make sure the camera itself is pushed as far forward as it can possibly go. So pulling back my zip strap as far back as it can go, but pushing the camera itself ahead as far as it can go. On. Grams. A 1998 Canadian Looney that weighs exactly 7.0 grams to test the weight of the scale. Seven. Zero, Tello, battery, when we go outside for the test flight you might notice the Tello going a little higher and farther than it usually does. It's because I'm using the Wi-Fi extender with the portable power bank, the dedicated Bluetooth controller, apps and all. I'm almost up to a full kilometer myself, but there's lots of videos on the internet about that, so I'm not going to go into that now. Oh yeah, I had to go through a lot of cameras before I found the Firefly. Alright, on. Grams. 111. Now I have to hold it even. If you're familiar with the Tello, you'll notice when I launch here, there's no overworking of the motors. They sound quite normal. I launched from my hand because it launches from my hand every time. When I launch from the ground, it's uneven because of the camera, and it only launches about once out of every five or six launches. I don't think they're in them. 
as you can see it's actually very stable with the firefly attached to it it doesn't weigh it down it doesn't dip the front end down in any way at all i noticed absolutely no difference in the flight or control in any way at all with the camera attached to it um yeah when i go up here and hover in a second i have to move out of the way because there's a car coming but i do hover in a second it it's stationary it's perfect the response is perfect no problems I didn't include any video from the camera because uh, two reasons number one there's lots of video out there on this camera already and two I'm an idiot and I recorded it in 720 instead of 1080 so I didn't think there was any use to post it